Hello everyone, my name is Paul Richards and today I'm going to show you how to add a green screen to your webinar experience that you might be hosting webinars for your clients uh, promotionally, maybe for marketing videos and uh, we're going to show you how a green screen can take you know, kind of a boring um, you know, background, maybe cluttered up background and it can turn it into something really uh, amazing and eye-catching. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on a chroma key. So uh, once I have a chroma key on, I can actually uh, put anything I want in my background. So now I've got this kind of beautiful uh, background with like a floor. It looks you know, somewhat realistic. And you could have a picture, uh, a video file, or even a virtual set, which I'm going to show here. Uh, so here I am sitting at a virtual set, um, and I could actually put um, you know, something in the screen here, maybe to make it look a little bit more um, official. And my virtual set now has kind of like a seamless panning, tilting, and zooming of the camera. And uh, it just, it looks really professional and really great. In fact, it looks like I need to just tweak my chroma key just a little bit because I'm getting a little bit of fuzz around my um, chair, which I can get rid of. Okay, cool. So, um, you know, virtual sets can really make webinars pop. It can make it, you stand out. And the way that we do virtual sets are uh, actually quite simple. And I'm going I'm to show, uh, hopefully this doesn't look too complicated. Uh, but basically what's happening here is um, we have a um, web conferencing system. So you've got a camera and a microphone attached to a computer. And then uh, we take the video conference or webinar and we bring it into a computer that has a live streaming software such as Wirecast or vMix. Um, so it, that might look a little complicated, which really not, and we can definitely help you with it. And it kind of goes, there's two ways to do this. One is you can host your webinar and inside the webinar, which is you know, somewhat considered, you can consider a webinar a video conference, right? Um, it might be a one way, uh, video and audio feed to thousands of webinar participants or it could be a collaborative webinar where you've got maybe five or ten panelists um, that are going out to thousands of, of viewers. So webinars can go in different ways but one way to think about this is that you could actually create um, your green screen background and create a virtual webcam that you can input into GoToWebinar or Zoom Webinar or WebEx Live Event Center and so that everyone um, in that webinar is seeing you with your either your virtual set or your uh, animated background such as this one that we were looking at. Um, there's a whole bunch of different ways. So you can actually bring this into the video conference call or you can do what uh, we're talking about here and you can actually take the video conference call and pull it into a um, pull it into an actual live stream and send it to YouTube Live where hundreds of thousands of people can watch it and actually make it look extremely professional with a lower third, which is what this is here. We've got a, a live clock in the corner. Uh, you can do animated titles to uh, make your presentation more, um, you know, more exciting. You can have videos playing in the background. Um, these virtual sets are extremely popular. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of different things you can do. Two ways to do it, you know, live stream it to the cloud or bring it into your webinar package. But either way, it's a great way to add uh, more interactivity. And then end, at the end of the day, what do you want? A really highly professional, uh, good looking video that's on demand, ready for your customers to watch and it's engaging. Uh, we live in a world today where we're in the golden age of, te of television. There's so much content available out there. You have to do something to stand out from the crowd. And this is one way uh, to make it really easy and simple and straightforward. So this is uh, the two ways that you can add green screens to your webinars. And now our next video, I'm actually going to walk you through how I did all this in vMix in the live streaming software. So uh, stay tuned and thank you for watching.